Hey everyone, welcome back, and this is lesson three of SketchUp for my video game production class. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, take the select tool, select everything, hit delete. Um, so the, let's see, let me just get my keys here. There we are. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start off in top view. Um, that's generally what I like to do. Um, and let's see. So the first thing we're going to do right now is I'm going to show you a real simple way how to create a simple floor plan. And I'm going to show you a really cool tool called the uh, offset tool. So for a floor plan, um, you can start off with just the good old rectangle tool. And so let's say I want to make a kind of a main part. And then I'm just going to drag out some other rectangles. Maybe I want a long hallway here. Uh, then maybe it'll go down you know, this way. Um, maybe something overlapping like a big room over here and then we'll go something like this now I'm just overlapping these rectangles obviously if you want to um, have your lines you know connect you would use the line tool and then you could go ahead and actually you know click and have it be much more precise here I have to do the inference line like that there we go and then do that and it just connects okay so let's say that's my basic floor plan okay so now I would go in and I take the erase tool and I just erase over all of these inside lines these sort of these overlapping helper lines um, there we go very easy and there we go oops Okay, so there we go. So now we have one basic face. Um, and so now uh, I want to show you um, something called the offset tool. So the offset tool is really cool. And it is down. It's hiding underneath the push pull tool. Um, so the push pull tool has um, the push pull tool. It has something called a follow me tool, which is a little bit more advanced. And it has the offset tool. That's this third one here. So what you basically do is you put your mouse pointer over something and you'll see that right here it says that I'm on the edge. And if I click once, I can then go inwards or I can go outwards. So um, I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to go a little outwards like that. And if I click, I now have a new face that basically offset from the original one. And now, you guessed it, if I go back to the push-pull tool, I can highlight, make sure you see that blue, highlight that outer portion, click and drag, and I've got an instant maze labyrinth floor plan um, for a house or a dungeon or castle or whatever you can think of. Um, so it's just a really, really, really cool um, technique. Um, let's see, I can try the uh, offset tool again. Let me go, you'll see that I'm looking at the bottom of this. So let me select this outer edge here. I'm going to click and offset that. I'm going to go outwards again. Okay. So I just went out and you can see that I created a face like that. And now if I take the push pull tool again and select it and then go downward, I can create now kind of this stepped up sort of design here, which is kind of neat. So I could have a character try to climb up here and then jump up here. Maybe um, put a doorway in here, you know, take the good old rectangle tool put a door right there, uh, push pull it, remember this trick from the last video, click and go all the way through and when you do it, it will drill all the way through and cut through and now I have a door going through there. So that could be really cool um, and I could have a lot of fun with that. Okay, I'm now going to show you the last thing in this video and it's a quick video, uh, is that you can actually download an image um, and place it inside um, SketchUp. So that's really cool. Um, so in another tab, I just opened up like castle floor plans. Um, and of course you can look for home floor plans or, or dungeon or, you know, factory floor plans, whatever you want. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this whole thing here. So there's two ways you can do it. Um, you can come up here and click on the little open folder and choose insert. And then, um, I'm going to say insert file. Um, and I'm going to say insert from my computer. And I've already downloaded this and I put it on my desktop. It could be in your downloads folder, but this is it right here. That's a castle floor plan. I'm just going to say open. And then I have to choose, do I want it to be 
upload it as a uh, image or a material. I want it as an image. Now, this is the part that I'm not crazy about. Um, it does go slow, at least on my laptop, it goes slow. So it comes in, so there it is, and I'm not holding down my mouse buttons at all. I'm just moving my mouse, and you can see it's really lagging. I'm not sure why. And so I'm going to go ahead and left mouse click once to place it right there. And again, it's kind of lagging. Um, and if I move my mouse, again, see, this is the part that I don't like because it looks like it disappeared. So this, after you do your first click, it now wants to know how big do you want the image to be. So I'm just moving my mouse out very slowly until I get it to be a pretty good size. Let me zoom out a little bit. Um, okay, so I'm pretty happy with it there. And I'm going to click a second time, left mouse click a second time, and that should now place the image. And there you go. Once you see the blue there, um, now you can see that the uh, floor plan has been placed. Okay, and what I'm going to do in the next video is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually start uh, modeling this main level here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save up here. And I think the internet is just going slowly today. And we'll go ahead and we'll call this uh, castle floor plan. Something like that. And save. And there we go. Okay, so in the next video, I will basically start off with this, and I'll just walk you through how I would go ahead and model or draw right on top of this. I will see you in the next video.